channel. It's been quite some time since I did a makeup tutorial, so I figured that would be what I do today. Um, I am starting to feel better, in case you guys were following me on Twitter. I did have a flu, so that's why I've been kind of under the weather, so I do apologize for you guys. Um, my winners for my giveaway, I should be sending your package out this upcoming week. So again, I am sorry that I fell off track, but I was sick and I was like, keeping you guys updated and I did have um, videos still posted for you guys so you had something to watch. But anyways, this particular makeup look is my kind of to-go natural everyday makeup look and I've been doing this very recently and I have been in love with it. Um, I do get compliments on my foundation because it looks kind of like skin. It looks very natural. It's not cakey. It's perfect amount of coverage for me. If you do have more acne scarring, more pigmentations, or anything like that, go ahead and use whatever foundation works for you. But as for me, I'm going to go ahead and use a lighter foundation and I will go ahead and list all the products in the description box for you guys. So if you are interested on how to get this natural makeup look, how to look fresh, and it is perfect for spring, then just stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so now that I've already primed my face, my eyes, and I did my brows, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my favorite everyday foundation, which is the MAC Face and Body, and this is in C2. You want to go ahead and really shake this very, very well, because it is pretty watery and, you know. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just put a little bit on my hand. And if you shake it up very well, it's not too watery. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my face. I'm just going to use my fingers today for a more natural kind of look. And if, Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of highlight and conceal with my MAC Pro Longwear. And I got a new one. This one is an NC20, so it's a couple shades lighter. And it's just really going to help conceal and highlight all together and I'm just gonna pat it underneath my eyes and just the typical places I normally would okay so now taking a tissue I'm just gonna pat it on my face just to remove any excess products anything any excess product and it's really gonna help prevent it from transferring but with the MAC Face and Body and Pro Longwear, it's really good at not having too much excess product. So I'm going to let it sit and just move on to the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes and face, I'm going to be using my new Tarte Rainforest Palette. I will have a separate review on it, but these are the colors right here. Very pretty, very springy. I really like it. We're going to go ahead and start off with this color right here, which is called Bare to Explore. And we're just going to go ahead and take an angled brush and pop it right into the crease. Now with the crease first, I'm going to take Tangled Up In You and just define the crease a little bit more. And I'm just really going to focus this kind of in the outer crease and just work my way in, but we don't want to bring the product in too, too much. And take Champagne, which is the highlight of the palette, and just pop it right underneath my brow bone. And you also don't want to forget that inner corner. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and... So after putting that in the outer V, I'm going to go back in with champagne and we're going to pop this on the lid. So I don't want anything too dramatic. And if you need to, just blend very, very lightly all the colors together. 
in my eyes with the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after all of that, I'm, I went ahead and I applied mascara to the top lashes only. I'm going to go ahead and take my Max Fix Plus, and this is an NC25, and I'm going to go ahead and set my face now. You can definitely use whatever powder you like, but I really do like this combination, especially with the MAC Face and Body. This to highlight and contour and all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and use Park Avenue Princess, which is their kind of infamous bronzer, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of bronze up the face in your normal areas where the sun would naturally hit you okay and I'm gonna go ahead and use their blush and this one is called unleashed after that we're just gonna go ahead and use that champagne once again and highlight our face and just spray some more max fix plus to set everything okay go ahead and use Max Sushi Kiss lipstick and I'm really just gonna dab it on to give myself a nice springy kind of lip and that is the finished makeup look Yay! so that was it for this makeup tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it please thumbs this video up if you did if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Or you can contact me on Twitter. I will have the direct link in my description box as well. And like I said, I will go ahead and get a video on the review for this palette, swatches, and stuff like that in a later video. So please keep a lookout for that. Without further ado, guys, I'll let you guys go and I will see you next time. Bye!